Bonjour, ça va? Ask me just saying hello. That doesn't make any sense, but whoa! Hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello, the whole addicts like myself. Today I've got a Zara haul, and it's a huge Zara haul. It's an abnormally huge, unnecessary Zara haul, but you know, whatever. There's really nice stuff on Zara at the moment, so why not capitalise on that? Starting with the first item because why not? So this dress I got in a size small, just for reference, everything's in a size small. This was $49.99. It is a textured black dress. Can you see the texture on it at all? I'm gonna hope so. And then it's got these buttons, which is just some nice simple girl buttons because I love a button. It's not got padded shoulders, but it's got like structured shoulders, if you know what I mean. And I just think it feels like it fits nice, like it feels really comfortable, it's really soft. But maybe you'd want to wear a belt with this. I would definitely wear this with some, like, ten denya if you can get them tights. You know the ones that are, like, black but you can still see your legs through them? With some of them black chunky boots because we love a black chunky boot over here. I personally feel like this isn't too short. This is perfect for me. I'm five foot seven, and, yeah, I'm not mad about the length. So, this is the next outfit. I don't know if I would pair this together. But then I paired it together, so maybe I would pair it together. I think it looks kind of cool with the clash of the, the clash of the creams. So first is this really strange. I don't even know what I'd call this. What have they called it? A cropped waistcoat, forty nine ninety nine size small, and here she is. And it's sort of the exact same woven type of fabric as that dress, kind of. Not really. Maybe the buttons are cute. Don't know if that's a bit too bright, if you can see. We have no padding in the shoulders again, it's just structured shoulder. It's like a silk lining inside. And I don't know why I ordered this, but I feel like it's just something I would like to wear with jeans. I don't even know if I would wear this. I kind of ordered it for like more of a work setting, but looking at it the way it is, I feel like this would look really nice, you know, like with a pair of jeans. I don't know. You know on a day when you just feel a little bit more grown up than normal? This is that top. To me, put this on. And I feel like a grown up, like I got my stuff together when actually, I do not. Then I'm going to shimmy on down to the trousers, which were $27.99. So I bought these in a small and a medium because I have the pink, the black, the pink, black and beige version of these trousers because they're my favourite trousers. They're so flattering. The lines on them just make it flattering and they're just really great work trousers. Um, but yeah, the other ones are so tight. So the small fits me like this, which don't get me wrong. It looks great, but when I bend over and I'm like typing and whatever all day, literally like all day, I can't breathe and it's really uncomfortable and you don't really want to be that person that walks around an office with the zip undone because you can't breathe because you've got a bloated stomach from lunch, do you know what I mean? So, I opted for the medium and I actually think these fit really nicely. I'm a bit surprised. I thought they were going to be like really obviously gapy, like don't get me wrong, there's probably a little bit of room, but I think that's probably normal because you know, it's probably a good thing to not want to crush your insides so yeah we're going to give them a little bit of room and they are in this i don't know what they've called it they've called them oyster white so yeah i would definitely you can see against this they are a bit of an off-white probably a bit of a disaster if you're someone like me and has tomato soup and their spaghetti yeah it's weird but it tastes really good so whatever and they are a quarter length no they're not is that course length? And then I've got like the most unflattering underwear on, so we'll just pretend that's not there like that. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking for a pair of white trousers, or if you want to jump on that bandwagon with the whole smart trousers, casual top, you know, the whole party at the top, not party at the bottom sort of look. Yeah, $27.99. Yeah, they make me feel good. We like it. I love it. Next item is this top, which was $6.99, and I got into size small. And I would call this a duh top, like as in you look at it and you're like, why did you get that? Oh yeah, duh, because like it's got a really nice neckline, it's comfortable, it feels supportive if you're not bigger breasted. And yeah, I mean, it's like this off, what is it, like a charcoal black or it's faded, faded corrupt black. And yeah, I just need something to wear under things, you know? And gone are the days where people wear bras anymore because those things are just uncomfortable, unnecessary, and I don't really want wiring going on my body, you know? Um, so yeah, this is just pretty simple, self-explanatory. It's a basic. It's a basic because you basically need it. So yeah. Ah, the next thing, because I feel like this is going to work, 
maybe it won't, but it's 49.99. Okay, so I've already got a black blazer, but it's fitted. When I say fitted, I mean I can't put my arms up for past like this point. So I wanted, you know, I wanted a relaxed, masculine blazer. You know, when you see all the cool girls walking around with their blazers, looking all cool, and then you put one on and you're like, this is not what it's supposed to look like. Um, yeah, so I do like this blazer, padded shoulders, and also this makes no sense to me that this one's £50. Yeah, that really small little white crop thing was £50. Like, I really don't get Zara pricing. I really feel like, if you imagine a dartboard, and then they put the clothes on the dartboard, and then like a tag a price to it, and they throw it at the dartboard, I feel like that's probably how they come up with their pricing. But yeah, anyway, this is the blazer. I feel like I wish I got it in a medium, but because it sort of looked oversized-ish, on the model. It's called an oversized blazer, so I got it in a small because I was like, well, I don't want it to be over oversized, I want it to be oversized. So, yeah, I got this blazer, it's really nice, it's got pockets, it's got buttons, but I think, as silly as it sounds, the top is a little bit too fitted. So, here upwards, it feels like my other blazer. Like, obviously, I can move my arms a lot more, but yeah, I feel like I want it to be bigger at the top, but then if I was to size that up, can you see how square the bottom bit is? And I feel like that's only going to get bigger and more square. And then it's just going to look a little bit like you literally are wearing your granddad's blazer. But it's not like the fashion version of a granddad's blazer. It's just literally your granddad's blazer. If you can wear it as a dress, which I definitely could not, then it's the perfect blazer. Whereas I couldn't wear this as a dress. So the search continues, my friends. But, you know, if you're a little bit smaller, not a little bit taller, Next top, 27.99 size small. This is a top with contrast stitching. So this is gonna go one or two ways. This is either gonna be like, oh, so chic, so stylish, so French. Or it's gonna be like, she's come out in her pajamas. Cause that is definitely a pajama top to a set. So what do you think? These are the buttons. So from a distance, they almost look like they're pearls, but they're not, they're just sort of a, I don't even know, like an off-white plastic. And then the top's obviously black with contrast white stitching. And I've just tucked it in here because I'm not gonna wear it like, I mean you could, but then it definitely does look 100% like a pajama top. But I kind of got this because it gave me like a relaxed French style. I don't know what I mean by that, but I feel like French style or Parisian style, for instance, is very much like the smart trousers, the cute loafers, and then like a relaxed shirt. So yeah, that's the uh, the idea. Whether the execution is the same thing, I think not. I definitely look like I am just wearing my pajamas. Let's do a wham bam, thank you ma'am. Extra small, 19.99, Oxford shirt in blue. What do we think? Have I found the blue shirt that I've been looking for for like ever? I don't know. I think I'm just gonna give up on the dream and the hope that I'm gonna find a blue shirt that I like because clearly it is not working and I need to stop. But, here it is, <laughs> in all honesty, the reason why I want a blue shirt is to wear it under things, so I don't know why I'm so heavily focused on what it looks like when it's out and about. Yeah. Then, I'm just going to show you what my plan was to do with this. I literally look like I'm about to go play Scrabble, don't I? don't know what look I'm trying to go for here, I really don't. I feel like I've seen, so do you know what it is? It's clueless, isn't it? I've never watched it in my life, but people always refer to this sort of dressing like clueless. So yeah, I was going for a clueless look and I clearly am clueless about it, so. Moving on to, do you know what, I'm going to show you this one straight away because, oh, it just keeps catching my eye and I'm just like, you are so beautiful, size small, 29.99. So this is what I mean, this, this would probably be £50 if Zara decided to bring it out another day. But here we have this beautiful, oh, it's so soft. I think this is the viscose fabric. You know, the, the really slimy, slimy soft one. And here it is. Oh my gosh, it's even got it on the back. And look at the detail on this beauty. So we've got loads of pearls. We've got these absolutely stunning buttons, which just keep catching my eye, they're so glittery. And they go on the back. They go on the back, they even make it down the sleeves. But people, let me tell you, when you find stuff like this in um, in Zara, make sure to check the label because this is not wash friendly. You have to hand wash this, which is long. Oh, she's so precious. This is just stolen, I love it. I feel like this is the sort of jumper that says to me that you are your grandparents' favorite child. 30 pounds with this much detail. I think that's pretty lovely, to be honest. If you want like a really cute, this is like cute at Christmas sort of vibe, I can't believe I just said the C word, 
right before my birthday because my birthday is in November so we do not talk about Christmas when it's nearly my birthday. After my birthday you can do what you like before my birthday it's my birthday you know what I mean but yeah we've got to save money oh oh no it's itchy oh dear okay well I wouldn't recommend wearing this on bare skin but you're not going to wear out bare skin in the winter anyway are you? The next thing is this not just screaming clueless. But in this size small and it's 29.99 this is what I mean 29.99, 29.99 do you know what I mean the workmanship don't really get it but whatever and I thought these two together I've been looking for a skirt this sort of shape for so long and nowhere does it nowhere does it right and nowhere does it nice quality so here you go everybody you're looking for that clueless skirt I found it for you it's a mini skirt it kind of sits slightly low waisted it's super cute it's got little belt loops but you're not going to put oh you could put a sparkly belt with this this is the blazer I got this again in a size small and this was oh this is going to be expensive isn't it <gasps> 70 pounds 69 oh darling daddy i said i wanted the chanel that is the vibe this is giving me we have this outfit right here this is screaming chanel to me chanel dupes are like one of my favorite things ever whether i'd wear them or not i don't really know because i feel like this is quite out there i feel like this is a statement outfit but hello sir can i have your ticket please thank you enjoy your flight did I ruin it? But look, if you're looking for your little cute Christmas outfit and you want to be bougie this winter, it's quite warm and it's that woven material again, woven, woven, whatever, and then it's got the silk inside. It's very lovely, it really is. If that didn't work, we've got the ever most popular little cohort. Thick, formal type material. I love it. £110, my friends, for a look. Don't get me wrong. I could wear this blazer with some jeans, with this, that, the other. I could wear this skirt with a jumper, this, that, and the other. But holy crowly, that is a lot of doly. See, this is actually long enough to be a blazer dress. But then if you wanted to be safe, you've got the skirt underneath, do you know what I mean? This one is definitely a low-waisted skirt, which, personally, I really like. Maybe the black top in the summer, and then a white polo neck in the winter. <gasps> Why have I spoken about the colour? Neon green. It definitely is a neon green. But it's, like, not in your face, kind of cheap neon green you could wear this in the winter with some of those again 10 denier tights with the boots with the you know and then in the winter with the polo neck and in the summer like this with some really cute trainers 27.99 size small super soft like unbelievably soft this is like this feels like an expensive sort of knit with the most beautiful again buttons like honestly I've never been so obsessed with buttons in my whole entire life. I've paired it with this skirt. I don't know why, because I don't think it looks nice with this skirt at all. So yeah, what do we think about this one? Is it just too basic? Like, as in boring? Basically boring, yet again. Yeah, I'm unsure. Well, I just got a bit of a dance confession here. So I ordered two pairs of faux leather trousers, because I know that everyone loves faux leather trousers. Like, everybody and the cat's mother has a pair of faux leather trousers. Trousers, except for me, because do you know why? I don't like faux leather trousers. I just don't. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry if that's like a taboo subject. I don't even know. But I decided, I thought, I'd mix up this haul, order some faux leather trousers because I know that everybody loves them. I just sort of wanted to give this haul a little bit more of a, like a actual reflection of what people like. So these were 27 99 Got them size small. They are the softest faux leather trousers I've ever felt in my whole entire life. They literally slid on. I feel like I can breathe. And it's just an accomplishment, to be honest. Let's have a look and they fit like a dream. I'm going to show you the top half first and then we're going to turn around. Complimentary. Or what? Just literally look like someone's made them for me and that shocks me because I never get that. Oh yes, that works. <gasps> look, and they are straight leg. How cool are they? They are the perfect length, like literally absolutely perfect, just hit the ground on me. Maybe if you are a little bit shorter, it's going to be a bit annoying for you. Honestly though, I think I found your photo of the trousers for the year, guys. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in my next video, because I've got another one coming up very soon. Thank you, and I'm really sorry this is so fast of an ending. Bye!